country. Welcome students, teachers, families, and friends. My name is Andrea. I am honored to be selecting me as a valedictorian of the French Immersion class. Thank you. And my name is Lauren, and I'm so grateful to be out representing the grade 8 extended class as a valedictorian. Although some of you have known each other since senior kindergarten at Huron Heights or Centennial Central, I actually only joined this community when Louise Arbour French Immersion first opened its doors in 2014. I have attended three other schools here in the Forest City, and I can tell you for certain that Louise Arbour French Immersion is my favorite. This is because Lithips has the best students, the best teachers, the best staff, as well as the best culture and environment. I am so grateful to have gotten to learn and grow in such an amazing school. Thank you. These past 10 years have been completely different for each and every one of us, especially for the extendeds as we all only met two years ago. Our journey through elementary school has been completely different. Some of us have gone to different schools and some were better than others, but we've all made lifelong friendships and memories. Despite how different this past decade has been for each of us, we all somehow ended up at Louise Arbour, and today we're all together ready to graduate. Due to the COVID pandemic, we've been through full lockdowns with no school at all, online school, Synchronous and asynchronous remote learning, staggered starts, in-person learning, and back to remote learning again. These past two years have been quite a trip. But with all of this change in our lives, we've learned to be adaptable. We are now much better equipped to respond to adversity or any life crisis we experience. Resilient people use difficult events as an opportunity to branch out in new directions. While some may be crushed by abrupt changes, those who are highly resilient are able to adapt and thrive. Know that as you leave Louise Arbour French Immersion, you leave with these new skills of adaptability and strength that will take you further in life. We all have this experience in common. We will look back at this time and know that we were all in this together. This past decade of hard work has not been easy, but here we are today ready to say goodbye and to move on with the next chapter of our lives. This graduation ceremony is really just the tip of the iceberg. What you can't see are all the people who've had an impact on our lives throughout this journey. The people who have helped us get to where we are today and to try to make it as easy as possible for us. So on behalf of our graduating classes, I would first like to thank the teachers and educators we've had throughout the years. Without your patience, support, and love of teaching, not only would we not know how to color in and label the map of Canada, or how to play hot cross buns in the recorder, we also would not have learned the importance of respect, or how to set goals to keep ourselves motivated. We would not have learned that making mistakes is how you learn, or how we can do anything if we want if we set our minds to it. Secondly, I would like to thank the rest of the staff at our school. Our secretaries, custodians, bus drivers, and even the man man who came to drop off packages every once in a while. Last year especially, we learned how important each person working in our school was during the strikes. Next, I would like to thank our families. I would like to thank them for giving us a place to come home to each day, for putting up with us while we stressed about an upcoming project or test. I would like to thank them for making sure we got to school each day and for holding us accountable when we couldn't. Finally, I would like to thank our classmates. Throughout elementary school, we've grown together in our academics, each year learning even more than the last. But we've also grown individually, into our own people with our own goals and aspirations. I could not have asked for a better group of people to learn and grow with, so thank you so much. I'm not sure if you remember the day that Madam Justice Louise Arbour came to the grand opening of our school. It was November 7th, 2014. We would have been in grade two, only around seven or eight years old. It's pretty cool that we can all say that we actually met her in person. We're very lucky. She said some things that I will not forget. She said, Vous et moi, les élèves de cette école, on est maintenant les amis pour la vie. 
parce que vous allez à l'école qui porte mon nom. That we are now friends for life, because we are linked together by going to the school in her name. Similarly, although we will all likely go on our own paths along separate journeys, we will still be linked together as the graduating class of 2021. On that note, I wish you all the best in your future. Without a doubt, I know that you will all accomplish great things. Happy graduation. Woo!